Hi there, we're on to video 9 of the Decimals video series and it's an exciting episode this time. We are looking at uh, multiplying decimals. Okay, to multiply decimals, we multiply the digits normally and a special rule kicks in. The total decimal places in your answer must match the total decimal places in the original question. Now we'll just check out uh, what the phrase decimal places are, just in case we've forgotten. Decimal places are the amount of digits, the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. So just to recap, 0.35 has two digits to the right of the decimal place, the decimal point I mean, and uh, therefore we'd say that 0.35 has two decimal places. 0.507 has three digits to the right of the decimal point, so we'd say it has three decimal places and uh, there's a number with four digits to the right of the decimal point so we'd say it has four decimal places. So let's have a look at an example. 3 times 7.1, we'll write it out like this. 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 7 is 21 so we just multiply the numbers normally. Then to decide where our decimal point has to go in our answer we say, okay, there is a total of one decimal place in the question. There's one digit to the right of the decimal point there in our question. And so that digit there is the only digit in the whole question that is to the right of a decimal point. So uh, we'd say there's a total of one decimal place in the question. And so there needs to be a total of one decimal place in our answer. And I think you can see that the only place for the decimal point to go, so there's only one digit after the decimal point, is between the 1 and the 3 there. So they need to match. The total decimal places in our answer must match the total decimal places in our question. Here, 0.37 times 0.6. Let's write it out properly. Then we'll just uh, concentrate on the normal digits. Six sevens are 42. We'll write the 2 down and carry the 4 over. 6 times 3 is 18, plus the 4 makes 22. So we've got those digits from just multiplying our digits normally. Then we say to ourselves, OK, there's a total of three decimal places in our question. There are two digits to the right of the decimal point in our first decimal, two there, and one there making a total of three decimal places in the question. So we need to place our decimal point in our answer so that there are three decimal places in our answer as well. So that will go in front of the first two there. See how there's three digits after the decimal point in our answer as well. So once we make them match we're really on safe ground. We'll just put a zero in front just to show that it's a decimal. We're allowed to do that without any drama. So, total number of decimal places in my answer match the total number of decimal places in my question. Other than that, it's just multiplying digits normally. So, multiply the digits normally, then add up the total decimal places in your question and make sure your total digits, total decimal places in your answer matches that. So I hope that helps. Uh, a little bit tricky, but uh, just concentrate on having those decimal places match.